welcome back and today i'm just going to show this this odd behavior that i'm getting from the 121 gw it's it's very weird every other multimeter i've put in line tested with this seems to work fine somewhere around 9 to 12 milliamps of current especially like off the shelly which was where i originally discovered this issue it seems to have a problem auto ranging for some reason this is a smart Wi-Fi bulb. I'm going to set this aside. We're going to use this as the load. It's a lot nicer on camera for you guys, so I don't blind you with a light bulb. Over here, I have my Cliff Quick Test wired into AC. I have multiple breakpoints that I can go in, and I'm going to try to leave the wires in distinctive colors. White is neutral. Black is live. Everything except for this. Oh, I put a white heat shrink on here to identify that this is the neutral that goes to the light bulb socket. For the sake of simplicity of this video though, I'm going to use red so you know exactly what is tied in and what is not tied in. We'll power it up so you can see that it is working. As a matter of fact, we could take this. Show you we're drawing about 12 point, no, close to 13 milliamps here. If I engage the relay, close to 17 milliamps. So we do have a, a working unit here. You can see this is what the LED looks like when it lights up. That's when it's off. Combined current being drawn with the LED on comes to about 20. So now we're going to Splice this in, down to safety my line. This is currently running firmware 2.04. And if we take the circuit live, 4.8. Now you saw, obviously earlier, this was 12. And if I was to take the clamp and measure off the input loop here, Still seeing the 13, 12, 8, where I expect it to be. If I turn the relay on without, let's see if I can unscrew this with one hand. Nope, of course not. I'll put it up to about 14. It takes it to the maximum range of the 5 milliamp range, but it doesn't flip to the 50 milliamp range for whatever is pushing 17.3, 17.4. If I throw a couple more milliamps to that load, it's just enough to change that and put it up to 20 and it flips over to the 50 milliamp. Now this does have to do with the auto ranging. So if I reset the auto again, it's going to work here with the LED plugged in. If I turn off the LED, now you can see it actually agrees 17.4, 17.5. It's actually agreeing with the clamp. So let's go ahead and reset auto range back into auto and it's stuck at that high range again. Now if I turn off the show, I take it back down to 12 and a half, 13 milliamps and I manually range it over to the 50, it agrees. So that's, that's the weird behavior that I'm missing. And for whatever reason, it's not just one meter and it's not just that firmware. This one is running 2.02, where this one was running 2.04. So if I just swap these over, Make sure I'm in the right range, everything's good. You'll see I get the same results here. So the same Odyssey, and if I, again, manually range it, I can get it to show an accurate number. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with any type of, I didn't see anything like, like any kind of oscillation on this, but it, it, it does it with the Shelly PM. It also does it with the basic Shelly. These are the only things with low enough current that I was trying to test with AC to see while these are in your wall with the Wi-Fi, how much current do they draw? That was my curiosity. Whether it be some weird oscillation or, or not, the thing is though, every other meter I own has absolutely no problem doing this. And that is the, I'm gonna take the light bulb out. And that's the thing is, is we don't need both of these in here. 
That was just to show the firmware, but how does one have no problem or two or three have no problem yet other ones seem to have an issue. So we'll start by throwing the current into this one and we'll end over here. And let's throw a few meters in between. Let's get this clamp out of the way. Again, for simplistic reasons, I'm going to leave the wires red. And then we're going to jump out of here, into here, and jump out of here, into here. Let's change this to uh, AC, milliamp AC, AC, right? Jump out of here and into the fluke. So all red wires for the same reason. We have our splice here, jumping in, going to the 121, and then the splicing out, or the end point where it goes back into circuit, is right here. And this runs around, loops down, and it's coming out the flip. And as you can see, every one of them absolutely had no problem except for the 121 GW. And if I just pick any random loop at this point, you also see that my clamp agrees. Again, without the night light, which will draw close to 17. I'm still stuck there for whatever reason. Drop the night light load on it. And it breaks out of that range. Take the night light out. And it has no problem displaying it. But if I reset that auto, it's at the top of the range of the 5 milliamp range again. If I manually range it, I can display the correct numbers. And there lies the issue with, again, with the uh, 121GW. A uh, different issue, I guess. I understand people are also dealing with this. I know Joe Joe demonstrated this in, in the voltage aspect of it, not being able to auto range correctly. Somebody else actually reported seeing the problem as well with voltage in the forum. So I figured I'd throw this in there because I've known about this for a little bit. The time spent working out bugs on this meter, I just couldn't be bothered at the time when I knew about it to do a video, honestly. Right now, just I'm, I'm just gonna drop it back into the box and, and be done with it. Pack them up for another year and I'll try firmware next year. One of these days, maybe I'll do a review on the 121 GW. But right now, I only tend to spend my time in reviewing items that I, everything, almost 99% of everything that I've reviewed on this channel has been personally purchased by me, and I only spend time reviewing the items that I actually recommend. There's no point of doing negative reviews or bad reviews on things and wasting my time showing you why I don't like something. If I don't like it, I return it. But if I like it, I keep it. Maybe I should return this, but I was kind of hoping that the few bugs in the beginning was a firmware issue and that they would be worked out. And the few bugs that I did find in the very, very beginning, I'm talking within the first three minutes of the meter being in my hand, that was worked out. For some reason, every firmware release seems to in introduce a new bug. But here's something that I've never updated the whole time I've owned it. And it's had no issues logging or anything. And this is a logging meter. Here's one, of course, I've never updated. It doesn't have the ability to update, and apparently it's got a wonky switch. That was cute. Did I touch it just right? Yep. What do you expect for a $20 meter, right? If I measure the current directly of just this LED nightlight, it's about 6.65 milliamps, and it doesn't get stuck in the five milliamp range. Confirm that this is an auto range. Now, I don't know if there's some kind of weird oscillation going on within the Shelly itself. Either way, it shouldn't really matter with the Shelly or without the Shelly's. The point is, the 20 dollar meter with the wonky switch that I just discovered uh, was two years old, three years old, actually. So the 20 dollar meter, the mid-range meter, the high-end meter, 
And this was like, what, 300 when I first bought it or something? It was up there, 230, 230 maybe. The point is, the other cheap meters in the house do it properly without getting stuck in range. So I, I think it shouldn't matter what I'm measuring. It should give me an accurate, every, everything else gives me an accurate current. Why doesn't this one? Thanks for watching. Be safe, and I say that in the most serious way with everything going on these days. Uh, and of course, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below in, in the description, or which way is below with my camera facing this day. Leave them down below in the description. Be safe, just keeps popping into my mind. So be safe, keep on tinkering, and I'll see you in the next video.